Hello, hello, hello. Happy belated Thanksgiving to you all. Thank you so much for joining me for your reading. I hope that you all had a good and blessed holiday with your family and friends. Even if you spent it by yourself, happy Thanksgiving. Okay, so what are their current feelings for you, Virgo? If you're new to the channel, hit that like button. Please subscribe. And if you've been around a while, please remember to hit the like button. Their current feelings for you. What are their current feelings for the earthly Virgo? We have the High Priestess. We have the Ten of Swords. We have the Six of Pentacles. Some They feel maybe some sort of, there was something that was unbalanced with some sort of unfairness here. Okay. Like you let them go. Or they really do have you on the brain. Really, really heavily. And it's like, I want... Virgo to know that I'm thinking about them. Well, I feel like there's some energy with you saying, you know what, I've moved on. That's my past. You are not my present and you will not be my future. Okay. What are their current feelings for you, Virgo? I feel like you're thinking differently about the connection. You want happiness. This person, this you were, you were everything to this person, though, really. They're in that 10 of swords energy right now. A lot of pain, a lot of heartache a lot of drudgery um, and they don't know what to think about this without you, about this life this thing we call life especially without without you in it so there's a lot that this that this person has been going through is currently going through too right now because you are their everything you are their wish fulfillment you fulfilled all of their wishes their needs and desires whether they told you or not but you're you're different now okay um i feel like this person you still have some sort of uh, feelings. I feel some sort of remorse on somebody's end. Possibly it could be theirs because you gave a lot to this relationship and you focus on it a lot on the fact that you gave so much to this individual and, and they didn't give that they, they didn't e e issue this equal give and take menti mentality that you did. All right. But but you've come so far, you've had you've evolved. But when this person looks back and they think about it like that, I really messed that up with Virgo. OK, I really, really did. And, and now. I don't know what to do. They're, they're down and out and they realize like you were everything they needed when they had you. Okay. Now they don't have you and they don't know what to do with themselves. I'm suffering without you in my life. I don't know what to do. You were everything to me and I screwed it up. I messed it up. That was on me, not you. Okay. Now they're feeling and sounding like a sick puppy. I want my Virgo. I want my bae. I want my sunshine and rain and all that other kind of stuff. And, and you, you, you've helped this person through so much, but you've healed, though. You have evolved. That still doesn't mean that you may not have feelings for this person. It's just that you're different now. All right. This person now realizes what they had in you, but it's too late. Maybe they want to call you and check in on you, especially during the holiday season. This person's current feelings for you. Got a retreat. They think you're with somebody else. A past life relationship, true love. They think that that you are with somebody else. I have wedding here. They want to give this relationship a chance, but they feel like you've moved on. All right. Uh, they feel like you've moved on. You're in, headed to another relationship, or they could in, they could intuitively feel that there's a new relationship coming your way that you don't even see yet, that you're possibly not even prepared for. Okay, so that's why I feel like this person is heavily on your mind. And you've possibly been hearing from this person, maybe through text messages or some phone calls. Maybe you have ignored their phone calls because you don't want to hear shit this person has to say. All right. Um, but it's time to disconnect from the world. So, you know, this could be them reminiscing. This, this could be them thinking about all the good things you all could have had together because they wanted to wed you. They wanted to make you their husband or their wife. And they want to give this relationship a chance. You wanted to give this relationship a chance. A chance over and over again in the past but they didn't maybe they slacked up maybe they got a skirt or something like that but you could have somebody flirting with you every you know every now and again right now you know you may not even realize that could be the next person you're going to tap into a relationship with okay this is a romance of a lifetime how is this person currently feeling for you they think that you you the reason why they don't hear from you is because you knock and boost with somebody else okay there it goes. Knocking boots. That's what they think. 
Okay, I got a card that's right side up. I get excited when I think about how incredible we could be together. All of the possibilities. If I could just go back for one more chance and one more shot to make things work, to make things right with you, I will. If you just give me a chance. All the possibilities that we could have. Everything that we can do. I get so emotional. They get emotional. They get excited. Just thinking about you. Thinking about how good this connection could, could be again. If it's reinforced the right way. How are their current feelings for you? If you ask me, I will say yes. Yes. Do you still have feelings for me? Yes, I do. So if you were to ask this person right now, if they have feelings for you or if they still love you, the answer would be Y-E-S. I really value your opinion and the unique perspective that you offer, that you have to offer. They respect you. Now they respect you. Now, did they respect you in the past? Who knows? Only you do. It's comforting to know that we have each other's support when it matters. So you can really talk to each, each other about everything. And they consider you to be their true love. And, and they wanted to be in a relationship with you. Maybe they were afraid. Maybe they just were not ready for what you were ready for at the time. But there was a lot of respect here. Whether they gave it to you or not, maybe they, they didn't they didn't show you as much as they should have or much as they as much as they could have. Okay. But now they realize like I, I really did mess it up. And I want to, I want to try to fix it, but, uh, you know, sometimes it doesn't go, it doesn't pay to go back to the ex. Okay. Sometimes it just doesn't pay. Or uh, your exes or whoever, what are the current feelings? They don't necessarily even have to be an ex. All right. This person's current feelings for you, Virgo. You got the emperor. What are their current feelings for you? The knight of pentacles. You've been waiting to hear from this person. Mm -hmm. Say so you haven't. Mm -hmm. Say so you haven't been waiting to hear from this, this person. Say so you haven't wanted to get back with this person. Say so you haven't asked yourself or looked at your reads to ask when is this person coming back or if this person is coming back or if this person has feelings for you. Whatever scenario, okay? I have the three of pentacles. You want to work things out or at least you wanted to work things out with this person that was in your mindset, in your heart set to do so, to, to want to make it work. So it's like they're turning their backs now on everything that they've known in the past that they were comfortable with. You were waiting for this person to come back. You were waiting for this person to respond to your energy. Okay, they're ready to knock on their door. All right. That is like I'm ready to show you better than I could have ever told you before in the past. But they they've had a shield, a block up over their heart for such a long time. Okay, hold on, honey son. Okay. I've waited for this moment for such a long time. And now, now that I'm here with you, listen. Okay. I'm hearing Rock With You by um, um, Bobby Brown, but the remix. So I'll put the remix version of Rock With You in the comments for you to listen to. Okay. I've been waiting for this moment for such a long time. And now that you're, with, now that you're here with me, listen to me. Okay. He's been waiting for this moment for such a long time. She, whoever she or he may be, they've been waiting to talk to you. They've been waiting to rock with you to tell you how they feel. And they're hoping, like hell, that 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 you remember the love that you two shared. All right. I just feel like there was some sort of unfairness here. It's like you gave so much to this person, this individual, and they left you hurt. They left you with that Ten of Pentacles energy. Like, look, I, I, I remember I'm remembering how you showed me the first time. Remember how somebody showed you that's truly who they are. Okay, and that's what you think, all right? What are their current feelings for you right now during this reading? It's snowing outside, y'all. I hate snow. Anyway, I'm still to be I'm still to be blessed to be in a land of living, but I hate snow. Okay. All right. Their current feelings for you right this moment. Uh, my alone time is precious to me, and I honestly prefer my own company. I don't want to be bothered because they stay soaking about you. Mm -hmm. Their current feelings right now. They're in solitude. They're, they're, they're in shut down hermit mode. All right? They've shut down big time. I know you're my soulmate. You know, or you thought in the past that this person was your soulmate. Now they feel like 
I'm alone. They're, they're, you know, nobody else is in my life. No, I don't want anybody else in my life. But Virgo, I can talk to you for hours because I know that you will listen to me. You listened to me in the past, and I hope that won't change now or in the current, in the future. Okay. I'm not the person you make me out to be in your mind. I'm not as bad as you think I am. I'm, I'm not. I'm more responsible with my feelings now than I was in the past. I, and, and I just couldn't be who you wanted me to be at the time. But now I know better. Now that I know better, I'm going to damn sure do better. Whether that means getting you back or not, that just means me healing myself so I can be better for the next person who enters my life. So this person just, or maybe they're feeling this way because of the holidays and, and maybe they don't have anybody to be with, you know, but I have here right now, the most loving thing you can do is let me go. I feel like that's what you tell them. That's what, in your heart, even though you want this person to enter your life again, even though you wondered where this person was, if he would or she would ever come back. Now that the energy is a little bit more fluid and you possibly feel them coming towards you, it makes you a little a little nervous, okay? Because, you know, if this person ever come back and they, you know, they didn't want to answer my phone calls or my text messages in the past, and when they try to call me back, because I know they will, I'm not going to answer the phone. I'm not going to do this and I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do them just the way they did me. So, fair exchange at this very moment. Ooh, child, child, child. At this very moment. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. Somebody's going to clearly decide to open up the floodgates again of communication. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you two together. I feel like this person is doing a lot of manifesting, a lot of prayer, because they want you back in their life. And for the long haul. Really sure, X. The time has come for you to clear this person from your mind. If you're still calling in your soulmate, or at least some of you are, uh, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Make the effort. Uh, great love is worth taking the steps you're being guided to take. So moving on. Okay. This person may want you in their life, but you may have, have candidly said to yourself, I'm not giving this person another shot. I'm not doing it. I'm not wasting my time. You don't want me the first time. What the hell makes me think you want me now? Uh -uh. You can step, you can bounce. You have to clearly decide what you want. So your soulmate can come to your life right now because you're calling in. You're currently in the process of calling in your soulmate. Why let the ex come in and fuck it up? Release this bastard. Okay. Release him. But hey, what can I say? You want to do what you want to do anyway. Okay. A heart does what a heart does. A heart wants what a heart wants. I could talk to you for hours. I know you're my soulmate. They think you're their soulmate. Maybe you think you're they're your soulmate. It just didn't work out. There could always be another soulmate in your life. My heart isn't open to anyone because of how I was hurt in the past. And that's you talking to their energy spirit. Talking to their energy, communicating back and forth. I've been showing my lack of interest, but you've been ignoring all the all the signals. This is you, your lack of interest, and you're not putting in the effort. You're not making an effort because it's time for you to release this ex. Okay. I'm really sorry, but I can't reciprocate your feelings. This is a one-sided thing right now. You're not communicating. You're not calling. You're not texting. You know, if you're looking at the text, you're not responding. Because what the hell can you say now that you that you couldn't say in the past? Not a damn thing. Not a damn thing. Chicken wine. Not a damn thing. Just slang that bang -a all over the place. Okay. So yeah, you're definitely not not on the same energy field as this person. You're just not. Your heart isn't open to anyone because of how you were treated in the past. But don't let this heartbroken energy keep you from your destiny of a, of a true love, a happy rela a relationship, a happy romance with somebody, okay? You've been showing this person all the signals and, and ignoring them. And by showing your lack of interest, you're not type, typing, typing any text messages. If you're not, if you are, you're not sending them. You're not calling them. You're not responding to text messages. You're ignoring phone calls. You're ignoring phone calls for messages you don't recognize. It's possibly some of them. You're not done. You're not doing it. You're done. No. You had your opportunity. I'm not gonna give you a second or a third chance to stump on my heart. Uh-uh. 
Not this Virgo. Nope. Not going to do it. How are they feeling right now? If if you really know me, you would know that we that we were not together, that we were not right together. I can't help but be interested in everything you do. They're captivated by you. They were captivated by you when you were with this person. But that that energy level between your two hearts was not even at the time. Okay, it wasn't the right time. You were uh, it were you were incompatible, right? But I I feel like now that this person has realized that you're not there anymore, and um, damn, they gotta let they gotta let it go. I do like you, and a lot of other people do too. I know you have options, Virgo. That's why you're not responding to me. That's not re why you're not reciprocating my text messages. That's why your energy f feels like it's fading away, and I feel like I'm losing you forever. Mm -hmm. You are. Maybe there could be even there could be more between us, but I wouldn't be the, I wouldn't want to jeopardize our friendship. So if, if if we can't do anything else, I just want you to be my friend. Can you please be my friend, Virgo? I need a friend. Okay. You don't need me as your friend. You good. <laughs> so I just think that you're plainfully, it's plainfully evident that you uh, are, are ending this connection with this person forever because you deserve more. You deserve more than what this person gave you credit for. And, and it's, it's sad because some people don't realize how good they have it or what is good in their life until it's gone. What are your person's final messages on how they're feeling right now for you? At this moment, what are their final messages to you? Release this ex. <laughs> really, they know that you're releasing them. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So you're releasing this person from your life, from your energy field, and they feel that part of you seeping away from them that was so stuck on them for so long, for so many years or so many months. And you're saying, you know what? Let's just kiss and say goodbye. We're done. Finito. I'm done because you're looking for love in higher places. Where I go, you're looking for love in higher places. Release the X. Mm -hmm. I just heard release that cocksucker. Talk to you later.